Hello friends, welcome back and happy 4th of July, even though you probably are watching this after or I, I noticed a lot of you watch the 4th of July videos the following year. So happy 4th of July. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take you on a tour and show you how I've decorated this year before everyone gets here. Everyone should start getting here anytime. And there's the doorbell now. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give you just a quick tour and show you how everything looks. And then I'll give you clips of the party that we're having this year. So. so this is where I started. I actually had to clean up the deck first and then I used decorations that I got from the Dollar Tree and Walmart. These stars that clip on these lights, they're exactly the same, the ones at Walmart and the ones at the Dollar Tree. So um, it was actually kind of slow for me to actually get into the mood to decorate this year, but I finally did. The sun came out. They were saying rain, but it didn't rain. Thankfully, it was sunny and perfect weather. So just to clarify, like I said, they were saying rain. It was the weather was actually showing sunny all week, except for the 4th of July, they were calling for rain, but uh, the sun came out. It was around 75, 76 degrees, which is perfect because, you know, we like to have a fire in the fire pit and no one wants to sit around a fire if it's hot outside. So last year it was, we had like record breaking heat. So, this year it was just perfect. Um, and it was a full weekend. We had the fire going for a couple of days straight. Uh, my dad came for a couple of days. He actually was out there at, I wanna say 8 a.m. getting a fire going. So there's nothing like sitting around a campfire, having your morning coffee and just so relaxing but I do think this is probably my last year um it's a very it's very time consuming it takes me a couple of days to decorate and it seems like every year people stay a, a less amount of time they kind of just come to eat and then leave <laughs> and I mean I understand that they have other places to go other people to see too but you know when you put so much time into it you want you want to spend time with your friends and your family so I think this is my last year of doing a party um, from now on we will just have just you know a handful of people just for a barbecue I'm not going to decorate or go all out anymore it's just way too time consuming don't get me wrong I absolutely love doing it I love decorating you guys probably have figured that out about me by now but you know with just the prices of everything right now the price of food the price of gas it's just it's too much for just such a short period of time when people are actually here so um yeah maybe in the future at some point but as of right now i'm saying i'm not going to do it who knows by next year i might change my mind because i am known to do that often <laughs> but i am happy with how everything turned out i i'm very happy with the weather and just such a pleasant day it was just such a pleasant peaceful fourth of july my son's new puppy she's about six months old now her name is Ridley and she's so funny 
Um, my cat, Normal, of course, wanted nothing to do with that, and I didn't see her all day until that evening. But uh, I do go through and ask a few people what their favorite part of the 4th of July is. And uh, if you were here, I would ask you. So make sure and leave in the comments below what your favorite part of the 4th of July is. Um, mine personally is the time that I spend with my family and friends. I, I, I don't know if you know what the five love languages are, but mine is my, my love language is quality time. And, um, that's just really, it, it's an important thing for me. And I like having that quality time with my family and friends ce celebrating this great country that we live in. <laughs> well, it's a funny story. He bought me right here, and he comes up with the trainers, and it was. Okay, that's funny. Uh, What's your favorite part about 4th of July? Um, being with the family and celebrating USA because I was adopted. And I'm proud to be in this America. Ah, I like your answer. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I need to get a picture. We got a picture. It's going on YouTube. <laughs> Esther, what's your favorite thing about Fourth of July? Barbecues. <laughs> Brandon, what's your favorite thing about Fourth of July? America. There you go. That's a good answer. I want to be in the picture. Oh no, no! I don't want to be on a picture. Oh, no. Okay. What's your favorite thing about Fourth of July? Um, me. The food. Oh. Exactly the food. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Mine's the fireworks. The fireworks? That's what I was going to say. Fireworks? Fireworks. Hanging out with this food. I don't like the food. I just like hanging out with the stuff go boom boom. <laughs> had a wonderful 4th of July weekend. It was kind of nice having it on a Monday this year. My husband's days off are Sundays and Mondays, so usually it happens on a weekend or during the week. So it was nice having it on his day off this year. And yeah, we just, we all enjoyed the rest of our day and went into the evening making s'mores and just enjoying all of our neighbor's fireworks. <laughs> so you guys have a great day and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.